Hey, thank you very much, Hannah. Right now in Nashville, we are under a partly to a mostly cloudy sky. Uh, let's show you what's happening right now. This is Tower Skycam. This viewpoint right now, you can see kind of in and above the uh, cloud cover, the low clouds that we are dealing with over the area for you this morning. Uh, meanwhile, here's our viewpoint from the uh, Vandy area, looking back over the Nashville skyline right now with a mostly cloudy sky, but some rays of sunlight getting through. A few more breaks in those clouds here at the station where it is currently 70 degrees there for us this morning and let's go just west of Nashville right now we head to Dixon a little bit more cloud cover in the Dixon area right now with a current temp of 68. There's still a stray shower a thunder shower possible today so our weather kid love that handsome smile there this is Joshua Henderson. He is out of Hartsville, Tennessee. He is showing us temps around 70 to begin the day and then 84 heading into the afternoon. Our wind northeast at about 5 to 10. Daytime highs a little bit below the norm for day one of September. 83 Dixon today, 78 Cookville, 75 Crossville, 81 McMinnville, and then 83 back over toward the Fayetteville area. Day one of the South Central Area Fair down in Hohenwall in Lewis County. At 5 o'clock in the west southwestern areas, there could still be a stray shower or a thunder shower and then decreasing clouds and clearing out over overnight by 9 p.m. 73. It'll be a nice evening on the Midway 68 at 11 o'clock. Couple of items that we're watching. This is Ida. Tropical depression Ida pulling away, although it's picked up a little bit in speed northeast at about 24 miles per hour. But while Ida was moving across the Gulf Coast, a couple of other systems developed. Number one, there has been a J storm. The J storm has dissipated, but now there's the K storm. There's Katie, but Katie looks like or Kate rather. Well, looks like it's moving to the north and brand new to the list. There is Larry now tropical storm Larry which Hurricane Center indicating could become a major hurricane. That's a category three or higher into the weekend. So you can see uh, the projected path. That would be good to keep it away from the, the, the Gulf Coast, but we'll watch and fine tune that track over the next couple of days. Right now, radar doesn't show much here in the mid state, but if you look right there and then right there along the Mississippi, there are a couple of showers out there. There's a little disturbance, a little short wave that's pushing this way, so that could keep a shower or a thunder shower going, especially along and west of I-65 today. Your seven day forecast 84 today. 83 tomorrow, 85 going into Friday, and then as we head into the weekend, 86 Sunday, 87 on Monday. There's our weather artist today, Allie Joe, and our school of the day, North Todd Elementary.